So I wanted to ask you, how do you get your prints done? As far as what? There's like a lot of steps to it. Which which part of it are you um, um, having a having a challenge with? Uh, every part. Every part. <laughs> like. <laughs> Uh, all right. So, I mean, there's a couple of phases. A lot of it's, it's funny. A lot of artists I, that I coach or I help or I talk to have have these kinds of questions. And it's like so funny because it's such a simple thing. Like, number one, you have to obviously make sure you have a good scan of your work. So that could be as simple as getting a photo taking, taken by yourself. That could be the simplest form. Yeah. I've always I've almost always used professional archivists. So like I've used a couple of different people depending on where I was living at the time. And so um, um, I, I live in Jersey now and uh, I have a guy that does professional art scanning. And then when I was living in Florida for a bit, I had a guy that had some equipment from like a, I think it was like the Smithsonian or something like. Um, so there's a lot of people out there. If you look for it, there's people in every general area that do it's usually referred to as like archival scanning or um, archival scanning. Okay. Yeah. So if you look up like archival scanning or art scanning and reproduction, you'll find someone that's doing it. And if you, if you live in some, like you live in Santa Cruz. Yeah. So you well, should have no problem. Cool. Like if you live in like a major, major Metro area, you shouldn't have a problem finding anyone. If, mm -hmm. if you, but if someone, if someone's listening and they live in like an area that's like in the middle of Bumblefuck, then generally what you're going to have to do is just just get a really high quality camera like a really 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 high quality camera and then generally shoot it at um when when it's not super glary outside like if it's a little overcast that's actually really good conditions yeah um so there's a lot of ways to do it once you capture the image it's called um so then once you capture it then you obviously have to get it printed and you can again do it on your own if you have if you want to drop like five five grand or six grand on a really sick printer you can do that. Otherwise, you again just look up a company that's doing, you know, archival printing. Do and you have like, one you use all the time, or? Um, well, so we just moved. So I actually sold my. Ha I actually ha had a super duper fancy printer for like a decade or more. A de you know, several of them over the years. Mm -hmm. But I first I bought my first one like a decade or more ago, and I've had them ever since. But then we just moved, so I sold it just to make the move easier. And yeah. so over the past month, I've just been using a local printer that, that's been doing stuff for me, which is like, either way, it's crazy expensive. Okay, um, that's what I was wondering. So you have to, you know, it, it's unfortunate. I wish I can get prints out to people cheaper, but it just, it's crazy expensive. Whether you do it on your own, if you do it on your own, like just, just the ink cartridges alone are like 200 and something bucks each. Yeah, I could imagine. So and then if you do it at, uh, of it. <laughs> yeah, and then if you do it at a place... You know they're they're incurring a lot of costs also, and then on top of that, they have to make money. So it's, there's no real cheap way around it. And you know, I think the people that that are going to buy your prints, hopefully, they realize that they're they're you know, if you do it that way, they're going to be really good quality and it's worth the money. But it's unless you do like cheapo posters, which I offer as well. Like for people that don't have a lot of money, I try to offer more mass printed stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so it really depends. And you could also just get a small printer and offer only smaller prints. That's an option too. Yeah, I like my pictures big, you know. <laughs> yeah, so you just, you know, it depends, you know, if you want to invest your own money, do it yourself, or if you want to find a place that does it for you.